Welcome back to another week and welcome back to another studio vlog It's now Tuesday and it's the first day of the week that I'm here in the studio Yesterday I took quite a very calm Monday I was at home for most of the day I basically planned my Instagram post for the next couple of weeks Which was really really needed I haven't been posting in there for like the past couple of weeks And I also finally finished the pins to send for production And hopefully, normally the time that they take is like two to three weeks so hopefully I can do the shop update in the like last days of the month if you have seen last week's studio vlog I'm pausing my patron for June which it feels amazing and it's going to, to be super super great uh, rethink things and stop and making taking a pause and all of that so but yeah my patron is like my main income stream so yeah it's quite scary so I really need to get the ball rolling uh, about putting new products to the shop because the shop for the month of May was a little little um, slow and all of that so yeah it's pretty scary but uh, it'll be nice for me and to come back refresh and to relaunch my patreon page and all of that this week I'm actually going to do some uh, products for the patreon boxes for May I also have a new wholesale order that I still need to check if I have to restock products for that but yeah before getting in into the studio vlog I would like to um, show you an unboxing that I did last week that I didn't manage to put on last week's studio vlog that is a box from stationery Paul but I'll put the footage that I filmed last week and you can see all about that so I hope you enjoyed the haul and I'll see you in a couple of seconds <laughs> I want to unbox something really exciting with you guys so stationary Paul send me a huge box of goodies um, so yeah I'm going to unbox it with you I'm really excited about this I love stationery that's why I have a stationery shop <laughs> so let's unbox these goodies even the box it's so pretty like it's gold and stuff okay, let's open them okay let's open this Ooh, fancy. Oh my god. Okay, I can see some extra goodies already. <laughs> this is so cute. It says hi. Oh, this is so cute. So they sent me like a thank you card. This is so cute. Okay, these are the little extras. <laughs> these are so sweet. Thank you so much. Okay, so I, I'm going to have to keep all of this company. Oh my god, this is so many goodies! Okay, I'm just going to open these boxes first because I'm so excited. I think this will be super cute to store washi in like markets and stuff. And I mean, I just love the colors. Let's just open up to see. Oh, this is really easy to mount. Okay. <laughs> They look so cute. By the way, I'm just going to I'm going to leave links in the description for all these products, um, and I'm going to leave a special code for you guys in the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Oh, this is some lace paper. So I also got some goodies for like scrapbooking and for pen pulling and stuff like that. How cute are these? Okay, then I got some like transparent stickers with flowers. I got this, like there's confetti everywhere. I got this super cute Pantone colors. This is like stickers as well. This is also like paper scraps, like for scrapbooking and for my pen poles. I like to do collages and put the letters a little bit pretty and the envelopes. So this will be super fun to use. And the same with this ones. I mean, at the colors and the shapes. I love it. Oh gosh, I wasn't expecting this to be <laughs> such a big bundle. Papers as well. This is like antique kind of paper. This will be so cool to write letters with and also to do collages with. <laughs> this is like a mini book. Can you see? And then it comes with like this 
papers inside. Oh, these are so pretty. It's like a mini book. Look at it. So cute. Then I got a bunch of washi tape. So I got the simple ones because I keep buying illustrated ones. And then when I want some simpler ones, I can't, I don't have them. Then I also got this one like in purple. Okay, I got some stamps which look so, so pretty. This is like magical um, kind of stamps and I love the packaging. <laughs> you can see like, this is right up my alley. Oh, I forgot that I added this one. Uh, so this is like um, a case to put around like notebook for the iPad and you can put like pencils in here. And I think it's really, really cool. I have my uh, sketchbook in here and it really fits <laughs> the color. Um, so you can put it like this. Oh, this is fancy. I think this is stamps as well. Lowercase stamps. Cute box. It comes in like a wooden box. This is so cute. I think this is a washi thing. Yeah, I have a bunch of washies here in the studio that I like half use. So I really need to organize them and I'm going to put them in here. Then I got a bunch of pens to try out uh, because I really want to draw more with pens. Um, I feel like when I draw on the on my sketchbook with pencil, I just keep erasing stuff. Um, and I think with pens, it will be nicer to also see the process because on the iPad, you can always go back and see like the time lapse and see the process of your drawing. But if you erase on your sketchbook, you can't really do that. And I think pens will be nice to see like the process of an illustration and stuff or a character. I'll be swapping this with you in a little bit. Yeah, let me just unpackage this. So this is a set and they were like quite affordable. So I'm really looking forward to try them out. And then I got this super fancy Faber-Castell uh, pens. Okay, let's take these confettis out and I'll show you everything. And we can do the swatches for the pens. Okay, let's try the pens out have these Sakura ones. Actually, I got the pink one in London last week um, because I couldn't remember the ones that I ordered. I also got a yellow one and now I have a blue one as well, so we fancy. Actually, um, here in Portugal until, I'm not sure because I haven't been on the shops for a while, um, I only thought that the, um, the Sakura ones were only in black and that was like the only options. I used to use them a lot on high school and before going digitally, I actually um, used them for my outlines on my watercolor drawings. So I'm really looking forward to it because I really, really love them. I got also this mid-liner brush pens because I've been seeing so many people use them and they look so, so nice. So I got this super cute color combo. So let's try them out. Yay, they look so pretty. They are so comfortable. And then I got these Monami pens as well. They had it in so many colors and they were really affordable. So I really wanted to try them out to see how they look. And you can really see that I went for the pastels uh, colors. Ooh, this will be so nice to write with. Oh, I love these ones. These are so cool. And I really want to try these ones out as well because I'm curious. Okay, here are the pen results. So these one were for the Sakura pens. These are from the Midliners and these ones are from this ones. What's the name again? Monami pens, sorry. Um, these are the four ones. These ones are like for the pastel colors and these ones are for the, the pack that I have here. And then I have the Faber-Castell ones. But yeah, this is the little amazing, not little because this 
worth a lot. If you like some of these goodies, I'm going to leave links in the description for them all. You can get a 12% discount code with Stationery Paul, clicking my link in the description and also uh, using the code APENAGE on the checkout. So yeah, if you like the goodies, they look amazing and I can't wait to try them out. I'm so, so excited about it. And yeah, that was it. Thank you so, so much for Stationery Paul again for sending me all of these goodies. As I said, I'm going to leave links in the description for everything and let's get to work let's start with the wholesale order prepare the orders and all of that and later i also have um the sketch book club that is like a video call that i do with my patrons every month so i need to get going so i'll be ready at 5 30 for the video call so let's go Wholesale order is ready and also already prepared these orders that I had over the weekend. I still need to do some notebooks um, really fast that is line line notebooks that I always made to order. And I also have to do a pin hoop and some tote bags for the rest of the orders. Every time I post me doing tote bags and all of that, I always get a lot of questions in the comments of how I do them and a little confused because I also do sublimation and you can't really sublimate on cotton because I use cotton tote Wax. I thought I'd just go with it and do like a mini tutorial for you guys on this studio vlog and explain how I do my tote bags. So for materials you don't really use much. I use this press to press the tote bag but before getting this pressed I already made tote bags and I use like a iron, normal iron that you have at home probably. If you don't have a press don't worry because there's a sheet inside normally of your paper with the instructions to use them on a press or on an iron uh, but I'm going to to talk about the press uh, settings that I use. So this is the transfer paper that I use. I don't sublimate my tote bags. Um, since I use 100% cotton tote bags, I can't sublimate on them. Uh, sublimation only works well on polyester. So yeah, I use 100% tote bag. So I have to use transfer paper. I have this one from Amazon and I'm going to leave links in the description uh, for what I'm mentioning here. Um, so yeah, this is the paper that I use. I already printed this out over here and I print them on my normal printer. So this is for sublimation and it's to press on um, like polyester. And these ones are normal ink paper that I print on my Canon Pixma IX6850. The only thing that you have to be careful is you have to print the mirror, uh, the image mirrored. So you just have to go to your settings and mirror uh, the image um, on Photoshop or with your printer settings so that when you flip it like this and you print it on the tote bag, it will be on the right, um, in the right way that you want. So yeah, this is what I do. Um, these are the tote bags that I use. They are, I think, 145 uh, GSM. And the paper, this paper over here also comes with these sheets. These are the thing that sets the image into the tote bag, but I'm going to show you how I do everything. So let's go. Another important thing is having this one over here. As you can see, the tote bags sometimes come with like lines and other things. So it's important to give it like a pass with this before pressing them so that the things that come in the tote bag don't get between the print and the tote bag. You have the eat press instructions over here and then you ha we have the iron things like the timings and all of that and you what you have to do of course. Um, for the eat press it says to have it uh, on 190 degrees Celsius uh, for with a high pressure for 12 seconds but I think this really depends on the fabric that you are using for tote bags whenever I used um, this temperatures and all of that they always burned my tote bags so right now I do 170 170 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds so I decreased the temperature and I increased the seconds a little bit um, so that's what I'm going to put on my press So 
so temperature it's 170 and I'm going to put it for 15 seconds while the press is eating I'm going to start preparing the tote bags for the sheets um, since this is normally sublimation it gets into the fabric but this will have like a little film uh, a very thin film on top of the canvas um, of the tote bag so I like to cut it around so you don't really see like a perfect uh, square because I feel like it's more pretty I guess so. then once that is done I'm just going to try to center the print as much as I can and I'm going to secure it with some heat resistant tape that is done let's put it on the press in the meantime the press is almost at the temperature that we want so I'm going to start putting them here I always put the press a little bit to the front so it'll be easier and I always have two sheets um, like I also have this like I'm not sure how to call it what's the name but I have an A3 normal sheet of paper I placed the tote bag I just try my best to see if it's inside the press like where it presses of course and where it is heating and I just try to make sure that it doesn't fold anything because otherwise the press won't be okay so I just put it on the inside and then add the other extra paper on top and the thing is you have to make sure that the press then sits on top of this paper right here and not directly on the tote bag uh, because there's more chance that it's going to burn the tote bag I'm going to put the press here and then I'm going to press it for 15 seconds it's done and I was trying to also uh, always take the paper when the um, print was warm because it says in the instructions that if you take it out it's matte, it's like a matte finish and if you leave it out for um, a little bit longer it will be like a um, more glossy finish so I was trying to take it out uh, as fast as I could but sometimes the print was not very like well sit on the paper and I was always end up with a lot of seconds so now I just take a little bit and they always turn out perfect this one is done then you'll just fix it later I'm just going to put this one as well and then I try to work in like phases so I do this part first and then I'll do the other one now we are going to do the fixing kind of part I can't really explain it very well um, so I use these sheets and as I told you before these come with the transfer paper and I'm also going to fix some tape okay so for this one it will be super fast I don't even need to put the timer because it's just like two to three seconds and that's it just take this one out and that is done Okay, these are done um, it's not such like a complicated process uh, but it took me a while to make them like okay and the first try I used to burn a lot of tote bags like every time I would do like a second sale I always had tote bags because of that because yeah they are not easy they seem like it but sometimes it's not as easy to get to the things because sometimes when you switch suppliers you also have to change like the things that you put on the press and all of that but yeah I hope this helps um, if you are using similar tote bags to mine um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed the mini tutorial <laughs>
it's now wednesday i think last time i talked to you was monday i already packed all orders and i actually didn't film anything today yesterday sorry because i did a live on youtube so if you want to check that out i pack orders online and i chat with you which is always so so cool um to chat like in real time so i ended up not filming much yesterday i finished like the notebooks for the wholesale order and yesterday during the live i had like um, a discount code going up um during it so i got four orders so thank you so so much if you ordered from the live i uh, really means the world and i was packing them i did my camera always run out of battery when i'm trying to speak um but yeah anyway yesterday when i got home i sit down and i finally finished the illustrations for patreon for the goodies for may um that's a little bit late but going forward i really need to organize myself and i really want to have all the illustrations everything done um at least in the first week of the month. I want to start sharing on Instagram. Until now, it was like a surprise uh, for patrons what was inside the box. That means that I couldn't really share what was in the box and people couldn't join because sometimes people don't want to join if they don't know, well, don't know what's in the box. So I really want to change that and I really want to start sharing that in the first week of the month. Uh, but I'm pausing my Patreon uh, for June, as I said before and I said last week as well. So yeah, that is going to be starting in july uh, so right now i'm doing the goodies for may i finished the sticker sheet this month the team is little bugs and yeah i'm having a hard time choosing um uh, colors because i'm already preparing for the shop update i'm also doing at the same time already the illustrations um some goodies with illustrations like notebooks and stuff so i'm going to do a test print and I'm having a really hard time choosing the like the background colors. Let me show you. <laughs> okay, so these are the illustrations which I in love. I love them so so much. Um, and I'm going to do a bookmark for patrons. But yeah, this is not easy to choose a background color for this. I don't know. I think I have so many different colors going on. I don't know. They all look weird or they look good. I'm not even sure. I really like the white. So I think I'm going to. Do do a notebook white and another one with color and see which one do best on the shop because like honestly I like all the colors in here so yeah I have no idea what to do but I think I'm going to do a test print and then we can see and I think I'm going to print the stick sheets as well cut them so that part is done so next week um, like I can do the print during the weekend and all of that and next week I can print the rest of it and send it out so yeah, let's print some things up. Yeah, I'm not sure if this really made it easier, but this one and this one are really, really similar. And I think I prefer it a little bit more pinkish than beige, but I'm going to change the logo to yellow on this one as well. I think this one is my least favorite. And then we have the blue one, which I really, really like as well. Oh God, I'm not sure. Uh, I can't deal with these decisions. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with this one, but with the yellow logo. <laughs> I can't. Um, I really like the sticky sheet with like more dark background and I'm going to keep it that way. Maybe when I put it on the shop, I put it like matching the notebook. But yeah, please let me know which one is your favorite for the shop. I'm really, really conflicting <laughs> right now, but I think it might be this one or this one. I'm not sure. Let me know. Blue, yellow, pink or lilac because i can't really decide <laughs> i'm going to print the back and i'll show you how it looks front and back okay so already printed them out already cut them so it'll be easier to see them like individually um and yeah you can see like these ones are really really similar uh, on the computer you can see a bigger difference on the background this is more pinkish um but yeah they are too similar so it's not even a fight here <laughs> Um, but anyway, this is the inside, which I really, really love. I love this cute flower thingies, very spring-like. Um, 
So yeah, between these two, kind of the same when they were separate. They look a little bit more different, but put together they are really, really similar. And then we have the blue one and I've printed the background like matching the color of the outside. And then the lilac one. Now, individually, I kind of really like this one as well. Yeah, let me know what you think among all of these, which one is your favorite, because yeah, I can't really decide. In the meantime, I already did some of the Patreon goodies, so let me show you. So this little bee, oh my god, my plant over there is like dying, so let's try to cover that up. Um, so this will be the vinyl sticker for the month, which I love this bee, I love it so, so much, it goes, you get all fuzzy and oh, I love it so much. So this will be the vinyl sticker. Then this is the sticker sheet and I think it looks really really cute. Uh, when I add it to the shop I might change the background color because I don't really think it fits the vibe. I'm trying to, you know, use colors that I'm not really comfortable with and all of that, but I really like the lighter colors more for the backgrounds, so, but I still really enjoyed the sticky sheet and I think it looks super, super cute. Then I already printed and cut all the bookmarks. I didn't really film the process because it was just me printing and cutting them. I don't think that will be really interesting. Uh, so I have all of these bookmarks over here. I made extra so that I can add them to the shop later. And here they are. I just love this paper that I use for the bookmarks now. It's 350 GSM. It's so smooth and nice. So yeah, this is the bookmarks for Patreon. This is the front. And then I have the back with my logo. That's basically how I do my bookmarks. Uh, so I'm missing the pins for the highest tier. And I still have to... Uh, do the print and print it out and I'm going to show you everything on next week's studio vlog and I think I already mentioned this but since my patreon is stopped for June um, if you join now you still pay like when you join patreon so if you join on the goodies tier this month even though my patreon is stopped and I won't even like have any new content like printables videos and all of that I'm still going to send out the May goodies uh, to everyone that joins during June uh, for the goody tiers, so the deer steer and up, so it's like the deer steer, bear steer and whale steer. Uh, so if you join, if you are watching this video and you think it's already June, so I don't, ca I can't have the May goodies, uh, you still can because I'm doing that since the Patreon is top and you still pay. So if you join those, those goody tiers, um, I'm still sending the May goodie box to you. And if you join the other tiers, it will really mean a lot and you can still get access to all the content that I I've posted before so even though I'm not posting new content um, this month of June you can still get access to all the content that I previously posted so yeah I hope that was explained okay uh, it's already the end of the day I'm getting tired but yeah I'm going to finish this studio vlog here please leave in the comments which was your favorite color for uh, the notebook because I really don't know what to do and what to print so yeah please help a girl out and leave your favorite color for the background in the comments and don't forget to subscribe like all of those things because it really helps my channel grow and get seen and all of that youtube hasn't been a great friend to me even notifications sometimes don't go out to people and they miss my lives videos and all of that so it really mean a lot if you put a like on the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't to so yeah hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys very very soon bye, bye.